What it do, YouTube man? What's up, Jason? Boy, here, Josh. Back another video. Back another fucking reaction. Welcome back to my fucking channel. Uh, I had to come talk about my opinion on you feel me the twenty twenty four team USA team playing in Paris and this nigga John T. Porter. <laughs> hey, that nigga John T. Porter got banned for life because I don't know if it's ever been a player who got banned for life in it from the NBA, bro. Or in sports in general, it probably has been players banned for life from the NFL or like other sports, but banned for life in the NBA, bro. Like, you gotta be, I ain't gonna cap, dude is a duck, bro. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, dude is a duck. I don't know if, now nah, I'm gonna talk about Team USA first, cause I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be talking about, you feel me, both subjects that long, but I just wanna come get my opinion on Team USA, uh, because I like the team. I'm gonna be real with y'all, I really do like the team. I see where people coming, like, people saying, oh, Drew Holiday shouldn't be on the team. We're going to go through the whole thing. We're going to go through the whole list. We got LeBron, KD, Curry. We already knew you feel me. We, that's that's the only three I needed to hear. LeBron, KD, Curry. We got MB. We know we know MB, you feel me? I don't even think MB was born in the States. Uh, He was born in, like, I forgot. Uh, it, start, it start with a C. It start with a C. It start with a C. Uh, I don't think it's Congo. I don't think it's Congo. But uh, he was born somewhere. We know we he, like you feel me. He's a um, he's a uh, what's the word? International player. He's an international overseas player. Uh, but he, I think, I think I had seen something saying he had like. I guess he been over here so long. I know you. I I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you could feel me. You can get your citizenship in a different country if you've been living there for so long. I think he's been living here since he was in like what ninth grade or something like here, something like that. So it's like, I like, shit. Basically, you a U.S. you a U.S. citizen in my opinion. Shit, you've been over here for a good little minute. They probably, you know, running background history on your ass and everything. You feel me? We know this nigga over here getting paid money. But it's like, I don't know. Uh, I seen a lot of people, like, you feel me, uh, feeling some type of way about that. They were saying, oh, and B should have played for France. No, he from, like, yeah, it's France, but it's like, it's something. I forgot what it is, bro. It started with a C. But they were saying he should have played for France. Um, He, he shouldn't, like, you feel me, he should never play for Team USA. I really don't care because, shit, you're making our team better. But it's like... Bro, you're not even a hundred percent for your for the Philly. Like I was watching Stephen A. Smith, and it made me. I, I was I was I was agreeing with him, bro. I was agreeing with him between MB and uh, Kawhi Leonard because y'all know it was uh, it was only eleven people picked that first, and it was trying to figure out who was gonna be the twelfth man. And Kawhi Leonard was eventually, you feel me, chosen to be the on um, the twelfth man. But when Stephen A. Smith had said it, when he was like MB and Kawhi Leonard, you feel me? They not even you feel me like. You don't even know if they're gonna play in the regular season. You don't even know if they're gonna be healthy in the playoffs for you to to you feel me try to win a championship, but you putting your name out there saying you're gonna be in you gonna be in team USA. He was like shit. If I was on the odds of the nah, you can't do it. <laughs> we need y'all, you feel me? If you can't play in the playoffs, you miss Kawhi, you miss your you feel me, your last eight games of the season with a knee injury. And B, we know what happened with you mid season, you feel me? You miss a whole bunch of games. You probably would have won MVP if you would never got hurt, but you can't really speak on it. Uh but come on now, like we need you healthy for next season and like later on, bro. Like I understand what he was saying with that, but it's like, hey, if the boys healthy, shit, they want to play for Team USA, they want to get the gold, they can get the gold. I like Joel and B, AD, another big piece. Uh, they got Kawhi, Jason Tatum, Anthony Edwards, Tyrese Halliburton. Like Halliburton should not be on the team, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I, I just that's just my opinion, bro. Halliburton should not be on the team, bro. Like. I have no problem with Drew Holiday being there because Drew Holiday is a good point guard. He's a good defender. You feel me? Like that's why we got Drew Holiday. But Tyrese Halliburton, bro, I don't. I, it's like what? I mean, I, they probably trying to get Tyrese Halliburton because you know him and Anthony was the two youngest people on the teams. So later on, you feel me? For like other USA, like, but no, bro, y'all should have y'all could have put Brunson on here, bro. Like, come on now, y'all could have y'all could have put Brunson, Kyrie Irving. Like, come on, y'all put Halliburton, bro. Like, like no knock towards Tyrese Halliburton, bro, but it's like. I feel like I feel like people trying to overhype him, bro. In my honest opinion, bro, I feel like play. I feel like people just trying to overhype him, bro. Like you are a good point guard. You are Steve Nash, bro. You are Steve Nash. Even though Steve Nash was a great point guard, bro, it's just like in my opinion, I think I believe that it's a whole bunch of great point guards better than Steve Nash. But people say, oh no, Steve Nash was one of the top five greatest point guards of all time. But and like you feel me? Yeah, he was efficient. Yeah, what he did was great. You feel me? Passing the ball, but bro. If you come to me and tell me Kyrie Irving, Russell Westbrook, Dame Curry not better than Steve Nash, in my opinion, bro, I'm looking at you like, but maybe because I'm just I'm from a different era, you feel me? I'm from a different era. People like I love two point guards. I love two point guards. My favorite point guard of all time is is fucking Chris Paul. Like, come on, now I say this shit all the time, but it's like, 
the game has changed. I would look at Jalen Brunson and say, man, yeah, Tyrese Halliburton is a, a true point guard. He got good size, but shit, the way Brunson, you feel me, cooking, and the way Tyrese Halliburton, when he came back from injury, he ain't been playing the same, bro, in my honest opinion, bro. He hasn't been playing the same, bro. Jalen Brunson, like, that's why, like, when y'all when I did my list for the for freaking all NBA, let me look at my list. Let me look at my list. When I, when I did my list for all NBA, bro, I seen people talking about that. They were saying how I didn't put Tyrese Halliburton in there. I'm not putting Tyrese Halliburton over Tyrese Maxey. In my honest opinion, like my all NBA 13, I got Curry, Maxey, Jalen Brown, Kawhi Leonard, and I said AD or DeMontis Sabonis. If AD and all NBA second team, then DeMontis Sabonis is going to be in third NBA, all NBA third team. If DeMontis Sabonis in all NBA second team, AD should be in all NBA 13. That's what I was saying. Because AD, shit, that nigga played like a whole bunch of games this season. AD ain't been missing no games. And AD been, you feel me, producing. So that's why I say he should be, you feel me, in all, you feel, he should make an all NBA team, in my honest opinion, bro. But I see where people coming from when they're saying, Y'all putting players who not even make it all NBA teams. Like, I don't think Tyrese Halliburton gonna make an all NBA team. Like, I, in my honest opinion, they might give him all NBA third team, but I don't think he deserves it over Tyrese Maxey. Uh, Drew Holiday not gonna make an all NBA team. Bam Adebayo might make it, or he might make a defensive team. We know what we know why they get Bam Adebayo because he's a he get he get he's, he he got good size. He can defend. You feel me? The the four and the five. And he can move. And he can move. But we know why we getting you feel me? Bam Adebayo. We know why we getting LeBron. KD, Kerr, and B, A, D, Kawhi, you feel me? Even though Kawhi, Kawhi, you just coming for defense. In my honest opinion, you know, Team USA shit changed, bro. It's like, yeah, you might be a great scorer in the NBA, but you get with Team USA, you playing with other great people, you feel me? You got to adjust. Kawhi, we, uh, Kawhi get Kawhi for versatility, you feel me? Kawhi, we know Kawhi, same thing with Bam Adebayo. Got good size, one of the one of the greatest defenders of all time, one of the best defenders in the league, bro. You feel me? He can move, he can score too at will. So it's like, but the thing is, what's going to be the starting lineup, bro? Because I, I ain't going to count. If we being real, I seen people saying that Jason Tatum should start. In my honest opinion, if we got Kawhi, Kawhi should start in my honest opinion, bro. No cap. Like, I, 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 I be trying to kill niggas. No, in my honest opinion, I be trying to kill niggas. Niggas would be like, niggas would hate this team, USA team. Like, this, this USA team right here, bro, people would hate, bro. My starting lineup would be Curry, Kawhi at the two, LeBron, KD, or, and then B. Or if you don't want to put KD, you feel me? If you want to have size and everything, you put AD and then you put AD and then B. But, like, that's kind of, that's kind of crazy, though, because, like, damn. Okay. I, Kawhi gotta start. I, my, <laughs> Kawhi gotta start. Hey, I told you that's my lineup, man. Hey, Curry at the one, Kawhi at the two, LeBron at the three, KD at the four. If you want to put, if you feel me, KD at the three, LeBron at the four, and then you got Embiid at the five. Or you feel me, if Embiid not all the way healthy, you put AD at the five. It, 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 like you feel me? Then the bench you got, shoot, Drew Holiday. You like it's like you got you can you can interchange them. You can interchange them, bro. Everybody can really play. We know team. We know. We know why Anthony Edwards and Tyrese Halliburton here. That's why I say we know why they're there. But I feel like, you know, Jalen Brunson or Kyrie Irving should have should have been in Tyrese Halliburton's spot. I know a lot of people might disagree, but in my honest opinion, bro, Kyrie Irving or Ty or Jalen Brunson should have been in Tyrese Halliburton's spot, bro. Cause like I understand he young, bro. You feel me? It's like the uh, I'm not gonna say the appeal, you feel me? I understand he a he a young, good player. Y'all trying to, you feel me? Like having some young players for in the future when Team USA come along and everything, but I don't think he should have had it over Kyrie Irving or or, or uh, Jalen Brunson because shit, Jalen Brunson, what he been cooking this season, bro. Jalen Brunson would have brought more offense than, than Tyrese Halliburton. But I understand where y'all coming from because it's like, damn, okay, we need passing. Tyrese Halliburton, that's what he is. He's a passer. Drew Holiday, he's a defender. He's he's a good passer and he's a he's an on ball defender. You feel me? So when you feel me, them 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 fit overseas guards be quick and fast and everything. We got Drew Holiday who's strong and he fast at the same time that can defend and that can put pressure on the ball. I understand why y'all got you feel me. Drew Holiday, but like I say, Tyrese Halliburton. I mean, yeah, I, I understand, bro. I understand, bro. Team USA, them boys that, bro. I don't give a fuck. Hey, them niggas shit. Hey, hey, nah, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Them boys, them boys, nah, bro. Them boys cheating, man. I seen somebody say Chet Holgum should be added to the list. Say if like MB, um, if MB can't play or say Kawhi get injured, some like in the playoffs. And it's like a a, a, a injury where they're not gonna be able to make it for Team USA. They were saying check um step in. I think I seen somebody throwing like Jared Allen, Evan Mobley. They got good size. Like bro, I ain't gonna count y'all could have brought Michael Bridges. Like instead of Tyrese Halliburton spot, y'all got we have guards, but we have Curry. We got Ant. We got Deep Book. We got Drew Holiday. We could have put we could have brought in Michael Bridges. You feel me for a wing defender for another good defender. But like I said, I understand why y'all brought in Tyrese Halliburton. 
But I just think Jalen Brunson and Kyrie Irving should have got it, in my opinion. Like, I was seeing people talk, like, saying, oh, Drew Holiday should never got it. Like, let me let me look at the comments. Let me look at what people saying. Nobody is beating them shut. So, it's just getting them. Yeah, that's true. I don't think that might be. If they lose, bro, I ain't gonna catch. If they lose, bro, that's you looking at it. You're like, come on, what the KD, Bron, Curry, like Curry. I don't even, I don't even, I don't even say Stephen Curry. I say Curry, like, like you feel me, Ant Man. You feel me, Kawhi and B, like A, like bro. If it's D, bro, if Tatum, if like if these niggas lose, bro, it's just like like people been saying overseas players taking over, bro. I don't think a lot of overseas players taking over. I mean, it's like a it's a select few, in my opinion, that's coming to like you feel me, the U.S. and that's balling, bro. I don't think it's like the majority. Like you know how majority is, like you feel me, over here, American players. But it's like it is a select few, like eight of them, six, seven, and you feel me, seven of them that's going that's that's taking over. That's that's really balling. But if them boys lose, then we can say that. And it might be eight because you got to throw in Wimby. Wimby is added. Wimby added on too. Man, them niggas, them niggas be in France, bro. Them niggas be in France. If B was over there with Wimby and you feel me, say if it was Wimby and, and B, because I think when B was supposed to play with uh France, is told hope Slovenia takes the goal. Slovenia not beating shit. Who Slovenia is? Ain't Slovenia Luka? Ain't Slovenia uh Luka? Who who uh Nikola Jokic be playing for? Damn, who, who Nikola Jokic be playing for? Where is Brunson? I seen a lot of people saying, where is Brunson? <laughs> Another LeBron super team. <laughs> hey, y'all hate on my dog for you feel me? Team USA teams? Come on now. Team USA teams is crazy. They said another super team, bro. It makes, yeah, them boys are created the Avengers. He told, that nigga said, <laughs> what do we call them the, the world champs? <laughs> what that nigga said? <laughs> Sounding so cringy though, bro. Dude sounding so cringy. Like what he said, I understand what he said was true because it's like the NBA is only, you feel me, American. It's like that's only the American championship. Uh, it's not like boxing where you feel me, they have the world boxing, you feel me? It's not like that. But it's like a lot of like in baseball, don't they do don't they do the same thing? The World Series, bro. Like we, that's we if we grabbing players from all over the world, bro. The Dominican Republic, you feel me? We grab we grabbing players from all over the world, bro. It's like, and this is the best of the best, bro. Like I understand, it's, it's always a few out. It's it's always a few outlaws, bro. It's always a few outliers who you feel me? Like they, they talent so great that they 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 are supposed to be in the league or they could have been in the league, but it was just something wrong with them. Like we don't know what it was, but it was something wrong with them. It's always gonna be that. It's, it's it's people like that in America. It's people like that overseas. It's people like that all over the world, bro. But this is still the best of the best collection of the fucking greatest people playing in this league, bro. So of course we'll call it the World Series or the you feel me, the World Championship, bro. But I understand what dude was coming from. But he just said it so cringy. He just said it so fucking lame that niggas couldn't take him serious, bro. Like people could not take him serious, bro. That's why I was clowning him. He was like. Like, I forgot what dude even said, bro. I forgot what dude even said, but it was like what he said was so cringy in my opinion, bro. But um, them boys them, them formed the Avengers, bro. These niggas ain't even the Avengers. These niggas, you feel me? I don't even know who these niggas is. I don't even know how I could compare them to, bro, because it's like I can't say the Avengers. I can't say the Avengers, bro. Them niggas might be DC in the comments. Like I don't even know. These niggas might be, you feel me? Like. I don't know, bro. I don't know who these niggas is, cause like them boys stack. <laughs> them boys stack, man. No cap. Then we bringing it up. <laughs> I told y'all I was gonna talk about it. This nigga got banned for life, bro. I'm sorry, John T. Porter. You a duck, my boy. You a duck. And it's crazy because it's like, bro, you like you so you supposed to expect something like this would happen. I can see if it was like, okay, I can't even see that, bro, bro. Like, like. Niggas, like, you was betting on yourself, bro. You was betting on yourself, bro. Like, you was literally putting in picks on your phone. Or you was literally putting in picks. You saying, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to put under. I'm going to go under. Like, literally, bro, that's the most dumbest shit you can do. I'm pretty sure it's probably. I'm not going to say that. I don't even think it's been niggas to do that, bro. I don't. Because, like, that, that don't even. Like, that's just. You feel me? I had to talk about this. Because I was like. I knew they was going to ban him for life, though. I told y'all this when I when I first reacted to it, bro. I said, just like they did Tyreek Evans when, um. Was is that name Tyreek Evans? Yeah, just like they did dude from that play for the Kings when he got caught with um with weed and everything. But I said, bro, they gonna make an example out of somebody, bro. You they gotta make an example out of somebody. The NBA said, oh, this nigga got caught with weed. Like we know players in the NBA smoke, 
But this shit never just hit the media like this. This nigga got caught with pounds of weed, bro. They said, we're going to ban you for two, three years. You feel me? We're going to ban you for two, three years. And then you could possibly come back if somebody wants to pick you up, you know. This nigga KD came on national television and said out loud, bro. And nigga said, I'm actually high right now. You know, yeah, I smoke weed. Like, bro, this nigga KD, you can't ban KD, though, bro. That's the thing. You could probably throw a little fine or something like that. But people, you can't ban KD. You can't ban LeBron. You can't ban. It's probably been players, you feel me, that, that they know smoke marijuana, bro, that they know smoke weed. You don't be seeing when they be, you feel me, looking at niggas and they be sitting there, you feel me, talking to the reporters, they eyes be like, bro, it's probably a lot of players that do it, bro. But it's like, it's the good players to where it's like, okay, I can't make an example out of you, but I'm a damn sure make an example out of somebody who's booth. Jonte Porter, bro, you're booth, bro. Like, I'm going to be honest. It's probably a whole bunch of betting scandals that's going on in the NBA, bro. That's why I like. That's why I be like, shit, I, I used to bet, but it's like, nah, I'm not finna bet on that shit, bro. I don't even, you feel me? Like, <laughs> I don't even. I'm, I'm like, this shit be all of you feel me? Scam, bro. Like, niggas just trying to make money out your ass, bro. So it's like, I be looking at this shit like, nah, bro. But it's like, it's probably a whole bunch of betting scandals going on, bro. Even with the refs, sometimes with the players, with it, like I said, you might see a player who, like, them niggas start getting crazy buckets at the end, like the game over, but them niggas trying to, you feel me, cover the spread, them boys, you feel me, it's shit like that, bro, it's, it's shit like that. So it was like, I look at it and be like, I don't know, bro, I ain't, you feel me, I just don't think about it like that. It's probably a whole bunch of scandals shit going on, scandalous shit going on, but it's like, it's it's, it's happening behind closed doors in the NBA, and it's, it's probably like, you feel me, big names doing it. I'm not even going to say it's big names doing it. Probably back in the day it was big names because they wasn't making money like that, bro. They're close. They're like, they'll sell a game just to, you feel me, like, like I was watching the video. They'll sell a game for the mob because the mob or something like that, you feel me, or getting some money on the side or some shit like that, you feel me. But it's like, shit nowadays is not really like that. It's sports band. My nigga, you sports band, you feel me, on the app where they can tell who it is, bro. You telling niggas to do it. You telling people to do it, bro. Like, you... Oh, yeah. I'm Bet under on me, you feel me? Bet under... Like, nigga, bet under is crazy. I tell him, bro, bet over, bro. I'm getting buckets. I don't care. NBA I'm not going to tell a dude to bet under on me, bro. NBA for life today. This nigga was betting against himself. He said, oh, yeah, I know I'm booth, bro. He said, I don't even be getting PT like that. <laughs> that nigga said, I don't even be getting PT like that. He said, shit. He said, I'm cool, bro. Y'all boy bet, bet on on me. He said, y'all boy bet on on me, man. He said, you feel me? I I win y'all a cool band. <laughs> he said, just break me off. For, just, just, just break me off a hundred. <laughs> and then he said, just break me off a hundred. You feel me? I ain't even getting paid like that. Y'all boy just break me off some little change. You feel me? I bet y'all, you feel me? Bet the under. I play trash. Like, I'm seeing videos. This nigga. She went ugly on purpose. <laughs> and it's funny, bro, because I'm going to be honest, bro. It's probably niggas in the league that be like, man, fuck it. I don't feel good tonight. I don't feel like hooping. I tell my dog, what's my, hey, what's my, what's my player prop? 25 and a half. I score 23, cuz. <laughs> 23, that's, that's like, you can feel me. That's reasonable, bro. Like, I score 23, bro. I don't really, like, you feel me? Not even, like, 23. Like, nigga might get 16, 18, you feel me? This nigga was getting, like, bro, even though your junk already low, this nigga again, like, he just playing booth on purpose. Nigga's not finna be playing booth on purpose, just, just missing shit on purpose. <laughs> to play in the NBA game. After he was linked to gamblers <laughs> betting on games. The league putting out a statement today saying... The investigation found Porter had, quote, violated league rules by disclosing confidential information to sports bettors, limiting his own participation in one or more games for betting purposes and betting on NBA games. What the fuck? This nigga betted over 80 bands? Hold on. Another individual with whom Porter associated and knew to be, uh, be an NBA better subsequently placed an 80,000 parlay proposition bet with an online sports book to win 1.1 mil. Oh, my God. That boy, I told y'all that boy said, hey, bro. He said, I'm telling y'all, bro. He said, put that money. He said, he said, bro, listen to me, bro. I got a plan. <laughs> that boy put, that boy, he put all his whole boy. Hey, he said, bro, I got a plan, bro. He said, I really don't even get in the game like that. I really don't, you feel me? I don't really get that many minutes. He said, y'all boy, bet the under. <laughs> he said, put some money down for, like, put 10 band, bet the under, bro. <laughs> and nigga said, <laughs> and nigga said, just throw me a band. He said, you know, I really don't even get played like that for real. Just throw me a band. Throw me a band. <laughs> Like that boy put eighty bands that that boy won one point one mil, bro. Think about that. That boy probably that boy's salary probably like two mil, bro. Like let's look up John T. Porter. Like let's look it up, bro. That's crazy. What was John T. Porter's salary?
His his bro. Two point three million over the three seasons from the Grizzlies. Two nineteen. Okay, okay, two point three mil. That nigga made one, bro, 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 bro. And I know he got some bank off this, bro. I know he got some bank off of it, bro. Cause I'm not finna, you feel me? I'm not finna, you feel me? Cost myself being in the NBA, you feel me? Or not even just that, but I know this shit might, I might get, it might link back to me. I'm not finna, like, you feel me? Do all this and I'm not getting paid off of it, bro. So I know out of that one point one mil, he got some money off of it. He probably put in with that eighty bands, bro. <laughs> the nigga probably put in with that eighty bands, bro. Think about that. That nigga's salary was 2.3 mil, bro. And in them three years, he got 2.3 mil. That nigga made 1.1 mil in one day, bro. In one game, just off of your family, betting the under on himself. That nigga said, oh, shit, I'm finna keep doing this. <laughs> that boy said, oh, I just found me a lick. <laughs> that boy thought he, was, he, he thought he wasn't gonna get caught, bro. He thought he wasn't gonna get caught in a back five, bro. I'm already knowing what it was, bro. Like I said, bro, they was gonna make an example out of him, bro. I best hands when I first reacted to it, I said they was gonna make an example out of dude, bro. Why? Because the NBA, like, it's probably a whole bunch of scandal shit going on behind closed doors, bro. Like I said, with the refs, it's probably a whole bunch of junk going on. But they don't want, they don't, when they hit the media, bro, they got, they know, oh yeah, somebody gonna take the fall of this. Somebody gonna be the fall guy. He was the first person, like, he, he got caught. He got caught. Like I said, it's probably been a whole, it's probably been a whole bunch of times where other NBA players, like, shit, what's my over under, you feel me? Shit, my shit, my shit, 25. I probably hit twenty four. It's probably, it's probably, but it's probably, they probably put telling other people to put in where they not gonna be linked in. They probably do it one time. Like I said, it's probably the NBA players who did it a few times. One time, this nigga was consistently doing it. He was playing bad, bro. Like missing shots on purpose. Like I'm watching videos. He's changing his form on purpose to miss shots, bro. Like nigga having wild bitch. He just passing the ball. Like it was a time when the nigga hit the shot and he was like the, the camera panned onto him. The camera was on him. And you can see him like fuck. Like he knew he messed up. <laughs> Nigga said, fuck, bro. That nigga, I hit the old one. <laughs> nigga, I hit the old one, but nigga said, fuck. <laughs> hey, nah, that's crazy, bro. You are a duck, bro. Like, like real deal, bro. Dude still did Donkey of the Day. What's his name? Uh, and Charlemagne still don still did Donkey of the Day. Cause you should get Donkey of the Day, bro. No cap, bro. Like, you are you are a true duck, my nigga. You are the duck of the day, my nigga. <laughs> Hey, that boy got him a sweet little lick, though. I don't know if the money gonna get taken back. You feel me? That boy said he put in 80 bands, won 1.1 mil from uh, a parlay proposition bet with online. So hold on. So did you only, did they only bet on himself, though? Like, that's why I wanna know that. Like, 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 was it other people still involved in the parlay? Like, okay, like, did he put in, like, a three-team parlay or, like, a three-player parlay or whatever he put in, bro? Or was it just him? Because no way in hell this man... Like, nah, no way in hell this man, you feel me, off that one bet just put in 80 bands. And, and just himself alone, he won 1.1 million, bro. Unless the stakes was just that high, bro. Like, like you feel me, that shit, the odds was just that high where it's like, damn. We thinking, like, we thinking he really gonna, like, actually score, like, six points. And this nigga just scores two or some shit. Like, if it's some shit like that, bro, like, that's crazy, bro. But I just had to talk about it because you are, you are the duck of the day, my boy. Like, you are literally the duck of the day, boy, like. I ain't gonna count. You are a true duck, bro. But I mean, I understand that boy. Like I said, that boy thought he found him a a, a sweet little lick. That boy thought he found, thought he had him some shit, and the shit backfired on him, bro. The shit backfired on him, man. But y'all y'all boys, give me y'all opinion on the situation, man. Y'all boys, give me y'all opinion on the um on Team USA. Uh, like like I said, them boys should not lose a game at all. If they lose a game, the boys are trash. They should not lose a game at all. Um. Like I said, I understand why players, or I understand why they put Ty, that, why they grabbed Tyree Taliburton, but I think players, like, it was players who deserved it more than Tyree Taliburton. Like I said, Kyrie Irving, Jalen Brunson, like, mm, you could have you could have threw Jalen Brown in there, bro. Like, you could have threw Jalen Brown in there, bro. Like, De'Aaron Fox, like, it's players that I think could have, you feel me, been on the team besides Tyree Taliburton, but still a good pickup, you know, still a great team overall, but them boys should win the gold, bro. Like, nobody should beat them, man. But yeah, y'all boys tap in, you feel me? Like, comment, subscribe, and enjoy the video. We out, my nigga. Peace.